Hey everybody, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Subscriber Lunch Sunday. This week I'm back with more colorful lunches. I had so much fun making these lunches last week and I can't wait to share more ideas with you this week. In today's video, I'm going to be making lunches with only yellow foods, one with only white foods, an all red lunch, and a lunch with only purple foods. You are not gonna wanna miss this one, so stay tuned. First up, I have a lunch idea sent in by Brent. He is 16 years old and is from England. And as you can tell, the theme for Brent's lunch today is purple. Now personally, I love purple. It's one of my favorite colors, but it can be kind of tricky to come up with all purple foods. So for Brent's main course, he requested purple cereal. There's actually quite a bit of purple cereals available, but I decided to go with this all berry Captain Crunch. And to keep this lunch all purple, I'm going to pick through the cereal and only take out the purple ones. So I'm gonna add several scoops of this purple cereal to the lunchbox and then move on to the vegetable. For Brent's lunch today, he requested a purple cabbage coleslaw. So I'm gonna take this big purple cabbage, I'm gonna cut off just a bit of this, and then using my purple knife, I'm going to cut this cabbage into small pieces. Now I'm going to move this cabbage aside and move on to the carrots. But since I'm trying to keep this lunch all purple, instead of using regular carrots, I'm using the purple ones. So I went ahead and added the coleslaw mixture to the lunch box, and then in a separate container, I'm going to pack the coleslaw dressing. And I think I'll be able to fit it in right here. Now moving on to Brent's fruit, in this back section I'm actually going to be putting in a purple plum. I'm going to fit this whole thing down into the lunchbox, just like this, and then to dress up our plum just a bit, I'm going to add one cute little pick right in the center. Now moving on to Brent's snack, he requested more of those purple carrots, so I just put a few of these in a separate purple container. And then for Brent's sweet treat, I have something really special. He requested a purple Pop-Tart. So at my grocery store, they only had one flavor of purple Pop-Tart and it is wild berry. These are super fun and colorful, but I don't think I've ever put a Pop-Tart in a lunch before. So this will be a first. But you guys, to get this to fit into the lunch box, I do need to go ahead and cut this into quarters. Now you guys, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about Pop-Tarts. I know some people really like them and some people don't like them. Now to dress this up just a bit, I'm also going to be adding a few little food picks in here. The purple ones, of course. And then to complete Brent's lunch, I'm also going to be throwing in some grape juice. And since this is a purple themed lunch, I decided to use my purple mini topper for this drink. Next up, I'm going to be making a lunch idea sent in by Alasia. Alasia is 19 years old, she's from Boston, and for her lunch today, she requested all yellow food. So my first step for Alasia's lunch is the main course, and she requested yellow rice with meatballs. So for this yellow rice, I'm definitely taking some help from the store. I'm going to be heating up some of this Uncle Ben's ready rice. This only takes about 90 seconds in the microwave, so it's super quick and convenient, and it smells really good. It kind of reminds me of stuffing that you might have around Thanksgiving. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up this entire section of the lunchbox with this yellow rice. And then to finish off this rice, I'm also adding just a couple of turkey meatballs. These are just the frozen kind from the store. We really like the turkey ones. They're so quick and easy. But since they're not actually that yellow, I think I'll go ahead and dress them up with a few yellow picks right in there. So now that that is done, it's time to move on to Alasia's fruit. For her yellow fruit today, she requested pineapple chunks. So I'm just adding a little container to this back section of the lunchbox. And I am going to go ahead and dress these up with a few yellow picks as well. These ones are super cute and they say have fun on them. And then next to the pineapple, I have just enough space to add a little piece of corn on the cob, which is like the perfect food if you're making an all yellow lunch. So I'll go ahead and stick that right down in there. It looks like I just have enough space to fit this in. Now that is looking pretty cool already, but I do have two more sections I want to fill up. For Alasia's snack today, she requested Funyuns. So if you've never tried Funyuns before, they're basically a crispy snack and they come in the shape of an onion ring and they have lots of onion flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this section with as many Funyuns as I can. And then in this back section, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sweet treat. For Alasia's lunch, she requested shortbread cookies. 
which I am a huge fan of. And I did try to find the most yellow ones that I possibly could at the store. I actually ended up getting these ones from Walmart. And then to finish off Alaysia's lunch, I'm also gonna be adding in some lemonade. So I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this good to grow bottle with the cute little minion topper. I'll go ahead and fill this bottle up with water and then add some lemonade flavoring. Now that brings us to Camille's lunch idea. Camille is 15 years old, she's from Tennessee, and for her lunch today, all the food is going to be red, or as close to red as I can find. For this lunch, I'll go ahead and start with the main course first. Camille requested some pepperoni pizza. So I'm just gonna take a small piece of dough. I wanna make sure that this pizza is small enough to fit inside the lunch box. Next, I'm going to add some red pizza sauce and then spread it out. Next, I'm adding the mozzarella cheese and I'm going to top it all off with some turkey pepperoni. Now because I want this pizza to end up looking completely red, I'm going to completely cover the top of the pizza with pepperoni slices. This is probably twice the amount of pepperoni slices I would normally make, but it should leave us with a nice red looking pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the oven for about 10 minutes. So while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare Camille's sweet treat. She requested a cupcake with red frosting. Now for this, I'm also gonna be taking some help from the store just to make it really quick and easy. I'm actually starting with some mini muffins. These are the perfect size to put in a lunchbox and they're really tasty. So I'm just spreading a little bit of frosting right on top. And then to turn this into a red cupcake, I'm going to dip the entire top in red sprinkles. This is so easy to do and the cupcakes always end up looking awesome. So now that our red pizza is done, I'm going to do my best to fit it into the lunchbox. It pretty much fits in there. And now that that's done, I'm gonna move on to the fruit. For Camille's lunch today, I'm actually gonna be doubling up on the fruit. In this front section, I'm adding some chunks of watermelon. And then in this back section, I'm adding a scoop full of red seedless grapes. And this section is also going to get you guessed it, a red food pick. For Camille's snack today, she requested fruit snacks. So I went ahead and opened up the package of fruit snacks and I put it into this really cute Lego themed snack holder. This really does look like a big Lego block and it fits perfectly into the lunchbox. And then in this last spot, there's just enough space for that special treat that I made earlier, the red cupcake. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this big red star to the top of the cupcake just to dress it up a little bit. And then finally for Camille's drink today, she requested a watermelon juice. Moving on to Colleen's lunch. Colleen is 27 years old, and for her lunch today, she requested all white food. My first step for Colleen's lunch is to prepare some mac and cheese, but of course, since this is a white lunch, I'm making the white cheddar shell mac and cheese. Now I have to say, out of all of the different kinds of white cheddar mac and cheese, this Annie's is probably my favorite. It's really good. And when it's done, it really does stay bright white. So now that the mac and cheese is done, I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the lunch box. Next up, I'm gonna be adding Camille's fruit. She requested pears, so I'm just gonna take this big pear here, and I'm gonna cut it into bite-sized pieces. And surprisingly, I don't have that many white food picks, just a couple different ones to choose from, really. So for the pears, I think I'll go ahead and use the star pick. These ones are really interesting. They say happy lucky on them. For Colleen's vegetable, I'm gonna be adding in some cauliflower. Normally, I do like to roast cauliflower, but if I do that, it probably won't stay very white. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it in just as is. But then to dress up the cauliflower just a bit, I will go ahead and put in just one googly eye pick. I normally love to add this into broccoli, but it works just as well in cauliflower too. Now in this back section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little cupcake liner. That way I can separate the snack and the treat. For the snack, I'm just adding a scoop full of this white cheddar popcorn. I'm gonna try my best not to overfill this section because I definitely don't wanna run out of space for the donuts. Pauline requested these white powdered sugar donuts, which are perfect for this lunch today. And I think I'll be able to fit two or maybe three right in this lunchbox. And then the very last thing that Colleen requested for her lunch is coconut water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this really fun bottle that I got at Walmart. This is the kind that has the coconut pieces actually floating inside. And of course those coconut pieces are white. So I think it goes really well with our white themed lunch.
Now, if you missed last week's colorful lunches, you can click on the link right here to check it out. And if you're looking for school lunch ideas, you can click on the link right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.